a while back, I let you in on a little secret that you can find amazing cookware and appliances at the thrift store for a fraction of the price of buying new. I shared some of my great finds and how I've saved thousands of dollars over the year by buying cookware and appliances at the thrift store. But many of you kept asking, how do you know what's good and what's bad? Well, today I'm gonna to share my tips on what you should be buying at the thrift store and what's best left on the shelf. Hello and welcome to I Want to Cook. My name is Chef Matt and this channel is all about helping you be a better cook no matter your skill level. And of course to cook we need cookware. And cookware is something that I love, you know, I have a pretty big collection of it, but a lot of my collection is actually second hand. It's bought from the thrift store. And if you haven't seen my video on why you should be shopping for cookware at the thrift store, I'll link to that in the description below. But uh, these are just a few of my examples. I have a lot more. But if you're kind of new to shopping at thrift stores for cookware, you may be not sure, you know, hey, is this good, something I should buy, or is this something that mm, even at a low cost really isn't worth it? Well, let's start with the cookware that you should be buying at thrift stores and kind of what to look for. Well, the first thing that you should be looking for is a brand that you already like and are familiar with. Uh, let's say example, Calphalon, like a pan like this. I see a lot of great Calphalon cookware at the thrift store and it's often really cheap. Uh, this is a great soup pot that I bought not so long ago and it's wonderful. I make soup in it, I make oatmeal, and this is just an example of a brand that I know that I was already using that I found at the thrift store. But this could work for anything. So here's my all clad pan that I found for $5 and this is the one that I cleaned up really, really well. And if you haven't seen that video of what this thing looked like when I got it from the thrift store, I'll link to that video in the description below as well. But you know, it could be new, it could be old. This is an old Revere Ware pan that again, you know, if you like this brand and you see it at the thrift store, then buy another one. Similarly, it could be a name brand, maybe a pan that you haven't already worked with, but you know, something that you know of. Again, any of these examples would work. This pot, by the way, is an old Desco ware. This is an enameled cast iron pot. It's made in Belgium, vintage, great pot. Another thing to look for is the weight. If a pan has a nice solid weight to it, that usually means it's quality. Like this all clad pan, this feels really solid. But a lot of cookware, it's pretty flimsy. You can kind of pick it up, try it, and maybe it just it doesn't feel very solid in your hands, it just feels lighter than it should, you should probably be passing on that. Make sure that it works well in your hands. You can have the nicest pan in the world, but if it doesn't feel right to you, you're not gonna wanna use it and you probably won't. So pick up the pot, pick up the pan, kinda see how it works for you. Another thing to look for is where it's made. Now this isn't to say that uh, products made in one country are bad and products made in another country are good, but there are some indicators. So like this all clad pan, this is made in America. It's really nice quality. So is this Calphalon and heck, so is this Revere ware. As I mentioned, this Desco ware is made in Belgium, but cookware that's made in France, America, Japan, those tend to be really good cookware. And again, don't discount the vintage stuff. These pans are vintage. This has got to be probably 50 or 60 years old and yet it still works great. This Revere Ware, I don't know, this is probably from like the 70s or 80s. I use it every week. And don't forget about appliances. We all know that appliances can cost a fortune new, but you can get them for a fraction of the price at thrift stores. Whether it's a coffee maker or a crock pot or even an instant pot or blender, you can often find it at the thrift store for a really low price. One thing you wanna do is actually make sure that it works. A lot of thrift stores, the ones that I go to, they actually have plugs at the back of the store where you can plug things in, kind of make sure they work or at least turn on. Some thrift stores also have a return policy. For example, my thrift stores, they give you like seven days or two days to at least take the appliance home, give it a try, make sure it works. So always ask about that as well. Now let's talk about the kitchenware that you should be avoiding at the thrift store. And the first and foremost is things that just are beat up. I see a lot of like nonstick pans that are all scratched up and they just, they're really janky. 
pass on those. You're not gonna wanna cook on those, nor are you gonna want those in your house. And just the opposite of a pan that feels hefty and solid and good, if a pan feels flimsy or just, you know, maybe the handle isn't really tight or it just doesn't feel right in your hands, you're gonna wanna pass on that. And obviously if it's broken, whether that's a pot or pan or appliance, you're gonna wanna pass on that too. Yeah, maybe you could repair it or maybe you could get a replacement part, but you really have to question, is it worth your time? Is it worth your money to try to track that down or repair it? More often than not, it really isn't worth it. And let's face it, some people really abuse their cookware and then donate it. If you find a pot or pan that is just really, really dirty or just super burned, it may just not be worth it. Now again, that isn't to say that they are beyond repair. When I got this pan, it was pretty, pretty bad at the bottom, but I was able to clean it up and I thought it was worth it because this is a $130 pan that I got for $5. But make the judgment call. If it's a pan that really is super burned, and just not very good looking, you're probably gonna wanna pass on it. Another thing to keep in mind is will it work on your stove? Now, I'm especially talking to you folks who might have an induction stove. Uh, not every pot or pan is gonna work on that, and I made a whole other video on how to know what cookware does work on induction. I'll link to that in the description below as well. And finally, even at the thrift store, some cookware can be overpriced versus what you can get new. Uh, I actually see this a lot with Lodge. Lodge makes great cast iron pans. They're made in America. You can get them really cheap, new, but at the thrift store, maybe they just aren't really priced that competitively. In fact, I've seen Lodge cookware that's pretty beat up at the thrift store that costs just as much or nearly as much as what I could buy new. If you're into like restoring cast iron and you really wanna buy used and kind of not buy something new, okay, I get it, that's great. But if you're just looking for a deal, sometimes even a used pan at the thrift store really isn't the best versus what you can get new. So there you go, those are my tips on what you should be looking for at the thrift store and what you probably should be avoiding. I really hope this helps and I'd love to hear from you. Uh, what tips do you have when you're shopping at the thrift store? Uh, whether it's for cookware or, I don't know, even clothes. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you are new to the channel, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. I am so glad that you are here. Until next time, I hope you want to cook.